Bo, you better be joking. You better be fucking joking, Bo. For all of you who don't know, it's a code red for all the Bo's hoes out there. Internet funny man philosopher Bo Burnham has deleted all of his social media posts as well as every album that isn't inside related. And he also possibly died. No, I am not joking. We're talking words, words, words. What? All of his tweets, all of his Instagram posts, all of my Bo Burnham playlists have been massacred. Bo Burnham has purged himself. Now, there's always the possibility that stuff like this has to do with licensing issues, which I'm not knowledgeable at all about that stuff. I don't study law, I don't know how it works, I don't know if maybe all of his older work is patented by the same studio and if they maybe suddenly have a vendetta against Bo or whatever, but it's always possible. It is a bit unlikely though, because if you count it all up, the social media posts being deleted or archived at least, the songs being removed from streaming platforms, his sudden change of profile pic, and most importantly, the January 17, 2024 reference, it all feels a bit too much to just be a coincidence. For those of you who aren't aware, which I'm sure most of you already are, but I'm going to mansplain it anyway, for a very long time, from back in the Make Happy era in 2015, until he changed it around the 8th grade era, I think, Bo Burnham had this text on the main page of his website, claiming he was going to die on January 17th, 2024. Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I think this is a pretty weird thing to write on the main page of your website. There's also this clip going around from back when Bo was storing Make Happy, where Bo gets interviewed by the lovely Evan. Sorry, I mean Devin. Alright, I leave these off all the time. Yeah. I love sucking icks. So Devin asks Bo a question about this weird statement on his website, and people are going absolutely nuts over this clip. On your website it says that you're going to die on January 17th, 2024. Mm. How do you have such insight? I'm gonna kill myself. So, should you take this seriously? No. Dumbass. Should we take the original text from his website seriously? Maybe, symbolically. I mean, what I do think is interesting about this clip is how quickly Bo answers with suicide, an action by his own hand, which of course gives the impression that if it's all related, he deleted or archived all of his posts and songs on his own accord, which then could be read into symbolically, like maybe he's just talking about death as in like his death as an artist, and to kill himself as an artist he needs to delete his songs and posts. And if you think I'm being pretentious for making that analysis, blame Bo. He's the one deleting his shit, pretending that no one will notice, knowing that everyone will. Something else that comes to mind is that Bo might just be using this January 17th date as a sort of self-promotional tool, because he knew people would be sort of looking his way on that day, which would be kind of genius. Maybe it's all just part of a big joke, we don't know yet. So I can't help but feel a bit excited for the idea that something new might be coming. And with the change in profile pic and everything, it all does feel like Bo maybe is about to announce something, like a new project he's going to release. In fact, this deleting of his social media posts and songs paradoxically already feels like an announcement of sorts. Of course, it's still very hard to tell what exactly he's got in store, even for me, a Bo Burnham project prediction guru. I'm gonna make a prediction and say the entire special is gonna take place in that room. Maybe it's gonna be like a joke on quarantine, but knowing Bo Burnham, it will be something more profound. Like, maybe it's to make it feel like an hour-long YouTube video, and, and maybe it's to make a callback to his start, or to comment on the current state of social media content, but... I will forever use this clip to prove to people that I am a superior Bo Burnham fan. Jokes aside though, there is very little to really predict or analyze in this scenario. I mean, there's even less information than there was with the trailer for Inside. He literally didn't even post anything. In fact, he did the polar opposite of that. And somehow we're still talking about it! The only prediction I feel somewhat comfortable in making is that the songs and posts will return online in some way, shape or form. 
I'm not comfortable in this prediction, but I maybe even think that that could be the climax of this new possible project. He might be remastering everything or going over his entire body of work to make a metatextual piece of art that'll then result in one huge compendium of all of his stuff. And going off on a limb here, but if this turns out to be true, it could just be because he's so dissatisfied with his older stuff that he just wants to redo it so it's better or something. I don't know, that doesn't really sound like Bo, so forget that. So, uh, yeah, the C. What is there to speculate about this particular choice in profile pic and banner? Uh, I don't know. It's outside, it's blank, maybe it's like a reference to the ocean levels rising lyric in All Eyes on Me. It might be something symbolic, or it might not be. It could mean anything, or it could mean literally nothing. I am not ruling out the possibility that all of this is actually just Bo Burnham quitting a celebrity's life. Bo's been on record multiple times saying that if he could choose, he would just do theater in tiny venues by his 30s. And you might say, well, deleting his albums is still a weird choice if that were the case, but if there's anything you should know about Bo, it's of course that he makes what he makes for himself first and for his audience second, if at all. We know that the only common thread through all of Bo's latest works is the theme of being anxious to perform. And if Bo had just decided for himself that the 17th of January 2024 would be the day that he'd remove himself from the internet entirely and stop being Bo Burnham but just start being Bo, maybe taking his music down is a part of that. Maybe he's just really that displeased with those albums. He is his own greatest critic after all. And if you're thinking what about the financial aspect of it, I'll just show you this clip from Bo's second appearance on the You Made It Weird podcast. The business aspect of, of mine is I do not spend any money and I save as much money as I can because I want to be able to live for the 10 years that I see happening yes. in maybe five years where I'm no longer making money like I am and I can just do theater. I could move to London you're, you're and do like coolest. a little, you know. You're the coolest. Why do you want to hang out with me? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> no, that's, that's <laughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really know what to think about all of this. I don't know whether to feel sad or excited yet. I just made this video because I obsess over every visible breath this man takes. I don't know if he's going to release a new project or if he's done making projects forever. It could even be both, like that the finale of this new project took place on January 17th and that that's how it all connects and ties together. I don't know yet. I don't know. I just know that whether he's done forever or starting anew, I'll always be thankful for all of his work and I will always love the idea of him. So thank you, Bo. And good luck.